This is the new passport application data processing center. Compared to the former glass house where Nigerians process their passports, as you can see, there has been indeed a tremendous change in the passport system of Nigeria. This, no doubt, is one of the success story of the 16th Controller General of the Nigerian Immigration Service, Mohamed Babandede, as the service concludes arrangements to roll out the drum to celebrate its 57th anniversary. Speaking in an exclusive interview with Channel Network Afrique News, Babandede said the NIS story started from a humble journey of handwritten to polycarbonate-enhanced e-passport, rubber stamp to electronic biometric visas, and cash to online payment system for passports and visa applications, among others. The idea is to give access to people. When we started passport in the olden days after independence, you can see the old passport was issued only probably in Lagos. But later it became a state matter. All states were issued. So that was political frustration. Later, the idea now is to even decentralize it further. Uh, as you are aware, the minister has already approved, we have started the concession process uh, where individuals can operate a front office which is called non judgmental centers. Uh, individuals will be given a place to have the passport machines available, they will capture the biometric, it will be sent to the center, the center will produce and return to the holder. We have already done a test case study in three locations in Abuja, the National Assembly, the Presidential Villa, and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. In these three locations, they don't have a passport office, but they have what we call front office. So you can capture there. When you capture the data comes to headquarters, the password is produced. It is real time online because it's connected. Uh, that's what we want to do. So the intention is just to reduce congestion, uh, to reduce demand, and make password more available to the public. And uh, that's the commitment of uh, the minister to Mr. President that he wants to decentralize and make it available to the people. And for a cabinet, uh, with the improved security feature, that's what we call it the enhanced passport, and it is linked with the national identity. So we have reduced step. It, it will be the same passport. And when we link also with the driver's license, when it is linked, this ecosystem will be a single passport. I think it's a great achievement for the national security of this country. It may be run by a private sector, who offices will not be allowed. It will be uh, you appearing before the passport, uh, the front office capture your passport. Pay. We are in the office, we will just produce a password and send it to the center for you to think. So you reduce contact with people as much as you can. Uh, that's the best thing we can do to reduce corruption. The NIS further helped on the reforms in the service passport system initiative. If you alter your passport, if you have two passports in your possession, or you knowingly make a false declaration to immigration offices, or you consent information when you are given the passport, or you act as a broker for a passport, or you uh, you conceal or hide uh, for the disclosure when you act, or any of these offenses, alteration, you can get up to. The, job, the law is very interesting. It says up to. So it's not saying that you should get 10 years. You can get 2, 3, or up to 10 years, and uh, together with the fine, but depending on the penalty of your points, the judge will be able to, to know if it is well presented to him by the prosecution. The Nigerian Immigration Service was established in August 1st, 1963 with mandates on border security and migration. Palang Booker, CNN News.